the thing about celebrities is they have been places and you don't necessarily want to put your mouths on them. The one thing that I wish I was allowed to do on television is... I literally get to do everything that I want to do on television and I don't know why. I feel that there is no terrain left for me to conquer in terms of how hard I have pushed it. So anyway, but still employ me TBS. Please don't fire me. Okay. I am beyond grateful that blank is open 24 hours. I'm beyond grateful that New York City is open 24 hours. You need it to be open 24 hours a day. Sometimes I am out on the, listen, this is not important for you to know why I'm on the street at five o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I am. And there are so many people all around. I'm always very happy to greet the world. My recurring nightmare is. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's true. My recurring nightmare is that I'm waitering and I have a table of people who order different flavored milkshakes. <laughs> And I'm working in a restaurant that doesn't have a milkshake maker. It's horrible. I wake up in a cold sweat. Okay. If I had to kiss one celebrity right now, it would be... If I had to kiss one celebrity right now, who would it be? I don't like celebrities. They're disgusting. They are filthy people. They pretty much all have trench mouth. Blank keeps me up at night. Oh, well, if you watch my show, I think you know what keeps me up at night. Also, last night before I went to bed, I ate a massive bag of dill pickle chips, and that kept me up last night. The funniest person I've ever known is... My husband. He's amazingly funny, and that is why I married him. That is what keeps our marriage sexual. The most awkward moment I've ever had on camera is... I once interviewed Al Sharpton while an electric breast pump pumped my breasts under a blanket. And he was answering questions like a proper human being, and all you could hear was this, like... It was really loud and amazing. He did not enjoy the experience. We have not spoken since. Not that we really spoke before. We have not spoken before or since. I'm sure he doesn't even remember. But for me, it's very memorable.